guys, today we're gonna to show you the three things that we do to make sure our sellers get the top dollar for their home. We average 100% of list price to sold price. Quite frequently, we're actually getting our clients 10,000, 15,000 above list price. This is our norm for our team. We're gonna show you how we do that, tell you a little bit about that. But first, I wanna go into the three things that I see agents, the average agent in our market, really do to brag to sellers. Um, really cool today on this call as well, we have my marketing director, Tim Shermack. He runs a marketing agency. They are nationwide. He is the number one marketing company for real estate agents and he is full-time on our team. As I tell you that, just so you have an understanding of how much we invest into marketing, we are marketers, we are not the average agent. So a little bit about what the average agent does uh, that I find kind of funny, actually. Um, I hear a lot of agents always bragging about high quality HD photos. Um, this is really interesting to me, like this is, that's like the cost of entry to the game anymore. I mean, I think we stopped taking iPhone photos a couple years back, right? Like even for sale by owners, are reaching out to photography companies and paying for photos. So yeah, I mean, like, it's hilarious. Like I always hear agents like, oh, we're gonna get HD photos and Twilight photos and it's gonna look amazing. Like, yeah, it's supposed to, right? Like that's what you do in the But like, is there, is there any agent who, who doesn't do that? That's the funny thing is usually you would think that you're bragging about the things that, that, that you do that other agents don't do or the things that make you unique. Yeah. The fact that so many agents are bragging about the fact that they take professional photos kind of tells you that they're not offering a whole lot if that's what literally everyone else yeah. does. It's, it's that's kind of- That's your value add. That's you're, not, you're, not a good place to start. probably not doing a whole lot of marketing. I mean, it's, it's kind of like coffee shops now bragging about the fact that they have free Wi-Fi. It's like, cool, everyone else did 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, McDonald's has free Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the other ones that I think is great, I mean, we do a ton of videos, so don't get me wrong, but I, I continue to hear agents tell homeowners when they meet with sellers, hey, we're gonna do a, an uh, HD video walkthrough tour of your home. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I get that. I think anytime you take a listing anymore, you're supposed to do that. I mean, there are for sale by owners in our marketplace doing their own HD TV version of a walkthrough tour on their house. So we'll dive in a little bit on why I think that's ridiculous. Yes, it has to be done, but the all important question is, what do you do with the video once it's done? Most of these people, they send it to their family, friends, and that's about the extent of it. Looks great to a seller, I guess, but kind of a weird value add again when the whole context is, wow, we're just gonna shoot an HD video. It's like, yeah, my kids are making YouTube videos, man. Like this, is, this isn't really, it's like a huge value add at this point in the game. Well, the, the, uh, the average agent who brags so much about the fact that they film a video tour of their listings, like you said, Maybe that was cool 10 years ago, but now everyone can do video. That's not necessarily innovative anymore. And like you said, Shane, they film the video, they might put it on YouTube where it gets 17 views total. And one of them is you, one of them is your assistant, one of them's probably the mortgage lender, one of them's the realtor's mom. I mean, it gets 17 views. That's not gonna sell the house. It's, it was actually a waste of time to film that video and upload it to YouTube if you don't actually have a marketing strategy to get that video, not just hundreds, but thousands and tens of thousands of video views. Or else, why are you filming the video in the first place? So that's what we're going to talk about later on in well, this video, is I mean, how to actually get people watching your marketing. So there's a huge difference in that. Like average agent says, oh, I'm going to film this really cool video, but who are they filming the video for? Is it for them, their brand, their ego? I don't know that's actually generating any leads. So the third thing that, that I see a lot, um, this is me at times, right? But there's a lot behind it that goes beyond is just bragging about social media presence. So I think this is, uh, you know, I have 4,000 friends on Facebook. It's like that, that's awesome, but where's the paid marketing side of social? Like, that's what I want to see. Like, oh, cool, you're posting on Instagram, you're sharing it, you may even have a business page. Like, so you've probably just like taken that next step. You've dropped the 50% of realtors that don't even understand that there's a difference between a personal page that you post stuff and then a business page where you actually have to fund uh, some ads. Call me crazy. Like I, I, that, that might've just shocked some realtors. You have to actually spend money to market a listing. Um, however, I, I hear the bragging all the time, right? Like, oh, we have this huge social media following. We're so good at social media. And you just look at their attraction, their metrics. It's like, 
Is that free marketing or paid marketing? So there's a stark difference on social media. I keep hearing, oh, well, we're going to boost your post. As soon as I hear that boost your post, I'm out. Like, that's not a value add. If, if an agent's telling you how cool they are because they're going to boost your post, you might want to like tell them like, hey, 2,000 called and they want their lingo back. I mean, the, the fact that so many realtors brag about their, their social media presence uh, when in reality, like they, they just have a Facebook account or they have an Instagram account or they have a YouTube account. That's not synonymous with being excellent at social media marketing. Just the fact that you're, you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram or any of these social media channels. You know, one thing that Shane and his team at Integrity Realty does so well is they, they, they use excellence and they actually have experience in social media marketing. I mean, Shane's Shane's actually a pretty humble guy, so maybe he wasn't going to mention this, but Shane is in the uh, Platform Marketing Hall of Fame nationwide, which is a nationwide organization of realtors that specialize in social media marketing. So, you know, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. Shane's in the Hall of Fame for platform marketing for social media marketing. So he's not just really good in Phoenix. He's not just really good in Arizona. Shane is actually nationally recognized in the entire country for excellence in social media marketing as a realtor. Like he, he's in the national hall of fame. And so other realtors look up to him for how they do their marketing. Shane is, Shane is that good. And so, you know, if you're, if you're a homeowner watching this in the Phoenix area, you're not just seeing an agent here who's pretty good or slightly above average. Shane is literal hall of fame when it comes to social media marketing. Other agents call him and ask him for advice when it comes to marketing. So I think it's really good that you mentioned that, Shane, that just because an agent uh, you know, mentions the phrase social media in, in, in their own marketing or in their listing, uh, their, uh, listing presentation doesn't mean they actually are good at it. You know, there's, it's having a Facebook account and being excellent at Facebook marketing are not the same thing. And we wanna talk about why when you're really, really good at it, yes, you'll get a lot of clicks. Yes, you'll get a lot of video views. But at the end of the day, the reason that you do what you do and the reason that I do what I do with the marketing is that when you have, when you have all these marketing strategies online working together to promote listings and promote the home, the end result is that you bring more buyers to the table than otherwise would have resulted. And when there's multiple buyers, you get multiple offers. And when there's multiple offers, that's when they end up bidding against each other and it bids the price up. So to be really clear, it's not just about getting a bunch of clicks or a bunch of likes or a bunch of followers on social media or a bunch of views on YouTube or whatever. Yep. It's about generating multiple offers so that we push the price up higher so that the homeowner at the end of the day makes an extra 10 or 15 or $20,000 they didn't think they would be making. That's the reason we do the marketing is to get the higher, highest yep. sales price. Yeah, I mean, I, I see, you know, here's average agent, right? Like average agent is marketing to be popular. I'm a marketer. I market to get paid, to get my clients paid. So this is like a, a, like a common like theme when I, when I meet with agents, when I try to help them with some of their marketing, if, if they're willing, you know, willing to learn and want some feedback is this whole concept of popular versus paid. That is, I think, the biggest problem I see with average agent on social media. They want to brag about how popular they are, but is that actually turning into dollars for their clients? There's usually a massive disconnect between popular and paid um, with average agent. You know, now I want to talk about the three specific marketing strategies that we're using to promote homes. You know, so we've we've kind of quick learned what the three things that most agents do, that average agents do, that doesn't really work. You know, they, they brag about professional photography, which newsflash, everyone has professional photography. They brag about filming a video of your listing. Again, newsflash, every agent these days is going to film a video of your listing. You know, then they brag about their social media presence. What's like newsflash, every agent is on social media. That's, that's, that's no longer something unique or innovative, right? So those are three things that average agents do, but the truth is everyone is doing those things. Let's talk about now the three unique marketing strategies that Shane and his team at Integrity Realty are using that do make them different. Three unique things that are doing that help their seller clients get more money for their listings than average agents uh, do. And the, uh, the uh, first thing 
has to do with what, what Shane and Integrity Realty have already done versus what they're going to do. So if you go on a listing, you know, a listing presentation or you talk with an average agent, pretty much their entire sales pitch to you about why you should list with them and not some other agent, it's all talking about what they're going to do in the future. Like, hey, if you list with me, if you sign these papers, and if you let me put my sign in your yard, here's what I'm gonna do for you. It's all talking about hypothetical, what is gonna happen in the future. You know, we'll, we'll film a video, we'll take professional photos, you know, we will run a Facebook ad. It's all these things that are going to happen in the future. But what I wanna talk about is what Shane and his team have already done, past tense. Here's what Integrity Realty Group has already done to help you sell your home for more money. And that is they have built up an insane database of home buyers in the Phoenix area that are already looking to buy a home. So when Shane starts marketing your listing, in other words, Shane and the Integrity Realty Group, they're not starting from scratch. They're not starting from scratch. What that means is he already has a list. I'll just give you some specific numbers. It depends on the time of month or that, you know, time of year, but usually it's around 10,000 people are on that retargeting list of home buyers in the Phoenix area who have recently clicked on one of Integrity Realty's ads. And so we know that those 10,000 people are actively in the market to buy a house right now. And so because Shane and his team already have that, you know, in-house warm database of 10,000 people, He's not starting from scratch every listing he gets. He can immediately start marketing that listing to those 10,000 people that we already know are wanting to buy a house. You know, most realtors, it's kind of like a spray and pray approach where like we kind of joke, it's like a two-step process to list a house. It's number one, pound a sign in the yard. Number two, cross your fingers and hope that another agent brings a buyer along, right? Shane is really proactive at actually marketing the listings to that database. But again, I can't say it enough. Integrity Realty Group does not start from scratch with every new listing. They already have this in-house database of about 10,000 buyers at any given time that are actively researching and actively looking in the Phoenix Valley area so that when you list your house with Shane, he can usually sell it faster and for a higher price than average agents because he immediately has a list of buyers that he can promote it to. Yeah, so I kind of look at this like anytime a business looks at bringing a new product onto the marketplace, like if you take real estate out of this, they probably have already identified a customer list. So it just seemed really strange to me inside of real estate that we wait till we have the product to identify the customer and build the customer list. Um, I mean, this is like the biggest reason why Tim and Platform and I have been working together all these years. Has the, listen, I won't say what Tim charges. Uh, it is not cheap. Like it would be a lot easier for me to buy Zillow leads to do all these other things that agents do, but that's not what the sellers need. Tim is an expert and helps guide our sellers in their lead traffic to targeted lists. So he mentioned a list of at times it's 10,000. I mean, depending on time of year, it can be much greater than that. It can be a little lower. What's really unique about that that he didn't mention, let's say we have a home that we do a lot of RV garage stuff. So let's say we have a home that has an RV garage. That's going to a very segmented list. Very. It's already identified that they are RV garage people. We're not just shotgunning this to Maricopa County and hoping that everybody in Maricopa County might be looking for a three bedroom, two bath house with an RV garage. Like that's not everyone. So that's like a huge differentiator that, that I'm very proud of. We don't take a listing that it hasn't already probably been seen by I would say two to 3,000 people prior to even being entered in that market. That's already going out to a list that we've identified, like he said, and I think this bears repeating. This isn't a stale list. This is an active list of people that are always being added to the list, taken off the list that we've identified them as, let's call it tire kickers, uh, as just not a buyer or not a consumer for that perfect house. Like, again, guys, I really want to stress, like, if you actually think about this anywhere outside of real estate, it's completely backwards. They bring a, a new product to market, they're already gonna have an identified customer list. That's huge. If I was selling my house, that's what I would want. I would wanna know that you already have customers that are interested in my house. And so Shane, that's a perfect transition into my second point here is that yes, we already have a database of people wanting to buy a house because Shane has already spent the money and spent the time building that, 
you know, Shane spends thousands and thousands of dollars a month on marketing his listings and building that list so that he can go on a video interview like this and brag about the fact that he has this database. Other realtors don't have well, that. Here's the result. We drive about 200,000 video views to our listings monthly. That's, That's not shotgunned out to your friends on social media. That's 200,000 views that we've Perfect. identified. People are actually buyers in the marketplace. Yep, so he's not starting from scratch every time, right? He already has this list and he's spending money ongoing to further develop and leverage that list for all of the homeowners who might someday list their home with Integrity Realty Group. So their home both sells faster and for a higher price because he's not starting from scratch. But that leads me to point number two, is that inside of that list, we've segmented the database into different uh, niches or demographics of, of home buyers. So Shane mentioned that, you know, uh, one very specific group of home buyer is uh, someone who owns an RV. So the type of person who owns a C-Class or a motor home or a pop-up trailer, maybe a fifth wheel, you know, all the various types of, uh, types of RVs, uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's probably because you're not in that niche, right? But the type of person who is in that RV niche needs a very specific type of house if they're going to store their RV there. They need RV parking on the side of the house. Maybe they need a garage. Maybe the concrete in the driveway needs to be a certain thickness so that it can support the weight of the motorhome on the driveway. There's, yes, there's all sorts of things that the average agent doesn't think about with these niches. Shane has developed different kind of sub lists inside of his database so that let's say a home buyer comes along who specifically says, hey, I'm looking for a home that, is, uh, that has RV parking, what do you have, right? Shane isn't starting from scratch with that. He already has, you know, a, he, he already has a list of hundreds at any given time, hundreds of people that want to buy a house with RV parking. So if Shane gets a listing, for Integrity Realty Group of a home with RV parking, he can immediately start marketing to those hundreds of people that have already raised their hand and said, hey, if you ever find something with RV parking, please let me know. Other realtors don't have that, but you know, it's not just RV parking. There's several other niches that Shane and the Integrity Realty Group team have identified of if we can market and promote homes in these niches to specific buyers you know, that want those niches, we can ultimately sell the house for a higher price. Anyone who needs anything in life, not just a house, if you have a specific reason for it, you'll pay a higher price for it, right? That's why people who buy Jeeps pay, you know, $70,000 for an SUV when they could get a Ford Explorer or a Chevy Tahoe for probably $40,000 is because they have a specific use for it. At the end of the day, an SUV is an SUV, but you'll always pay a price premium if you need something for a specific use, right? So another thing behind, uh, beyond RV homes is pool homes. There's lots of pool homes in Phoenix. Shane is constantly generating buyer leads of home buyers that want a home with a pool so that when Shane gets a listing with Integrity Realty Group of a home with a pool, he can immediately start marketing it to that database inside his database of pool home buyers. And there's, there's, there's several other niches we could talk about beyond RV and pool, but the point is Shane has done the work and he spent the money ahead of time to generate all these lists and database of buyers so that when, when a listing comes along and a homeowner comes along who wants to sell, Shane already has a warm list of buyers to market to and usually multiple buyers bubble up who are interested. And again, it creates that multiple offer situation where they start to bid against each other and it pushes the price up. That's the reason at the end of the day, we do all this marketing is that if we can get it in front of the specific type of people that are most likely to want that house, they will bid against each other because they want it so bad and it pushes the price higher, which means that Shane's client, the homeowner, gets a higher price for their house and they're really, really happy at the end of the day. So that's the reason we're doing all this detailed marketing that average agents don't do is we want a higher price at the end of the day. And this accomplishes that. The third thing that Shane's team really, really does differently that average agents do not do is using video and social media to get mass exposure. Now, Shane kind of joked about it earlier that you know average agents say they film videos and they say that they're popular 
on social media or they say that they have a social media strategy, but saying it and actually doing it are two entirely different things. You know, Shane has people hire him and ask for coaching and mentoring across the country. Realtors will call him and ask for advice. That's how good Shane is at it. You know, I mentioned Shane's literally in the marketing hall of fame for social media for realtors across the country. So he's nationally recognized for being an expert on social media marketing when it comes to promoting homes. So Shane, what are a couple of the things you do when a homeowner calls you and says that, hey, I'd like to list my house with Integrity Realty Group? What are you specifically doing with your videos and you know, with your social media strategy that other agents aren't doing? Well, I mean, I mean the first thing is we're gonna identify the niche, right? So right away, as soon as I get that call, I gotta figure out what that unique niche is that the house has. Then from that point, that allows us to build out the whole social media campaign. Yes, we're gonna post it on our personal page. Yes, we're gonna do all these things. I mean, we have so many other pieces of this retargeting list that in Maricopa County is upwards of 50,000 people that we've already identified that we can retarget laser focused ads to. I mean, this goes so deep into the metrics. And this is what I love. I consider myself a marketer, not, not an agent. Um, and that's the biggest thing. Like you film the video, it's gotta get eyeballs to people that actually care that they're watching this video. It's gotta be someone that may want to buy the house. That is the biggest thing. What do you do with the video once it's filmed? So first thing that we're gonna do, everyone's doing single page websites, I think at this point, hopefully you should be doing it. Um, we do a lot of that stuff. The biggest thing is how do you capture information? So this is where I see a lot of people drop the ball when I talk to agents across the country, like Tim mentioned, thank you. Um, appreciate you bragging on me, Tim, thank you. Uh, Biggest problem they have is they want to count views and they think that views turn into dollars for the seller. Unfortunately, don't see that always correlating. We have some of our videos that have three, four views. And then all of a sudden, one of those views was the buyer bought the house and paid 10 grand more than anybody else did. So the biggest point is where are you getting those views and how are you capturing information? If people are viewing the video, but you have no idea who's watching it and you have no way to follow up with them or capture their info, now you're doing it to be popular. I mean, there's, there's, there's just no reason to film a video if all you're going to do is upload that video to YouTube and it gets 12 views. That's not helping to sell the house. That's just you doing it so that you can say you put the video on YouTube, right? It's just yeah. a waste of everyone's time at that point. If you don't have an actual marketing strategy to make sure that people are seeing the video, right? Yep. And then this goes even way deeper into YouTube ads, Instagram ads, Google AdWords, how it pops up in a YouTube video, what YouTube video it might pop up in, right? Like Tim mentioned, we have, we do a very good job of segmenting our list. Uh, if we're watching, if someone's watching a video on golfing and then all of a sudden the video ad that we have inside of that golf video is on RV garages, just wasted money. There's a massive disconnect there. What we would have been better off doing is showing golf course owners. So all of these things in combination, they have to work at a high level. Again, this is why we made the huge financial investment as a business to bring on a marketing agency full time. They are in-house full-time. When we take a listing, I already know what's going to happen. It's immediate. We ship that off. It gets packaged. It gets, the whole retargeting campaign, everything gets launched within 24 hours. You know, uh, as, we, as we wrap this up, one of the final points that I want to make here, Shane, for any homeowner watching this, you know, watching this video here in the Phoenix Valley, is that Shane, Shane's a humble guy. So Shane often won't say this, but he he spends more money promoting his listings and investing into the advertising of those listings than any other agent does in the Phoenix area over time. You know, Shane will spend more money and more energy promoting those homes than other agents do. And what that means is that when you list a house with Integrity Realty Group, Shane can look you in the eye and tell you, I will get your home more exposure than any other agent here I guarantee it. You know, we're not just crossing our fingers and hoping that the right person comes along and finds the house. Shane, because Shane invests so much money into marketing and advertising and promoting those listings, he gets more views and he gets more exposure on the listings. I mean, as I, as I look through our analytics for marketing, you know, the, the, the average listing that you're promoting, you know, is being seen by anywhere from 20 to a hundred thousand people just because of your advertising. And those are not 20,000 to 100,000 random people. Those are 20,000 to 100,000 people that we know are interested 
in buying a house in this market. No other agent can say that because no other agents in Phoenix invest the kind of money and energy, Shane, that you and Integrity Realty do. They're not investing that level into their listings as you are. I mean, frankly, you're just spending more money than them to promote their listings. And because of that, your clients are better off and they're getting higher prices for their homes because you so often create multiple offer situations where it bids the price up. Yeah. I mean, it's simple math. It's, uh, it's been effective. I mean, it, it's not a small investment to take on a listing. Uh, that, that's a big deal for us. Uh, this all goes, you know, tying it back to popular versus actually making sure that the seller gets paid and gets good money for their home. Um, you know, we, it takes money, it takes time, it takes energy to identify the list, to, to market to that list. Um, you know, and I think the biggest thing is we really have to take ourselves out of it. Do we market to create brand exposure? There's some agents in our marketplace that are way better at that than I am. You know their name, you know their face, you see it everywhere, you see it yeah. on billboards. You're not going to see. What is that doing for the seller's pocket? You're not going to see Shane's face on billboards because no. he's spending his marketing budget actually promoting the listings that his sellers have. Yes. So, so those listings sell for more money. I choose to spend my marketing dollars to help my clients, not build my ego and my own brand. As a byproduct, those things will happen because you get results. So we're just results driven. Yep. Well, uh, guys, thank you for hanging out with us. I hope that this video training was useful. If you're even maybe thinking about selling your house in the Phoenix area in the next couple months or in the next couple years, I just wanted you guys uh, to understand what Shane and his team do differently because the truth is most agents do the exact same thing. Most agents, their, their, their marketing plan is all the same thing no matter what brokerage they're at, what company they work with. They're going to do the same thing. Shane's team actually does things differently than most agents, and that's why they get different results. They get higher prices on the homes they're selling, and the homeowners that work with them are a lot happier because of that. So, Shane, uh, thank you. And uh, Shane, what is what is your uh, cell phone number in case anyone needs to get in touch with you if they if they have more questions about selling their house, uh, yeah. or they're just wanting to learn more information about your marketing strategies? Yeah, so my direct sell, it will reach me, 480-299-6417. Guys, if you have any questions, we'd love to just see if we can help, provide some knowledge, and uh, get you down the right path.